Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be my third game of the Brawler Bash Tournament, and now it's going to be my Orcs and Goblins up against some Empire. Alright, so especially after the last game, I really wanted to crank out some points. It was kind of funny, because I was thinking, like, you know what, I wish i played play against an Empire player, because given the options where the Warriors are very popular and the Empire is very popular, I'd rather go against Empire, because I, I feel that they don't have much... The things that they're really good at aren't so good against my army, and once I get to them, obviously, yeah, I can smash them. So, here you go. I guess I got my wish. And uh, from left to right, what he's writing is a Pegasus Lord. He's going to have a cannon back there. He has his Mornfang, a steam tank, a big unit of great swords, and in there he has you know his Warrior Priest, and uh, I think there's the BSB in there too. Then he has a unit of Swordsmen, and there's also going to be a detachment up front. There must be already also a level 4 in the other unit there as well. Uh, actually, had two mages somewhere in this block. I don't know where they are. I can't really see it in the picture right now. But he's going to be having both life and also shadow. So, you know, kind of scary stuff here. And uh, what he also has going and then is another unit of Mornfang. He has his Hurricaneum. And he also has a unit of Knights in the back there. Again with another Warrior Priest. Then some Pistoliers and another Cannon. So, first of all, the way we deployed, I was really happy he didn't kind of go way off on the right side. It's just going to be you know, a regular battle line here. But I thought he could have a very well defended position behind this lava area there on the right. Really the way that's matched up, I see my Black Orcs just smashing the Mornfang, my Savages would be destroying the Great Swords, and then I, either I'll be trying to tie up the Steam Tank with my uh, Night Goblins, or maybe I'll be throwing a th few bosses in front of it just to kind of like stall it type thing, and then my Troll should be able to go over there, deal with the, the Mornfang, and then deal with the Steam Tank. And overall, I mean, it's, it, yeah, I, I'm looking pretty hopeful with the way this is going to be turning out. So he gets first turn, he has a Pegasus going up there on the left, uh, he, he's moving up slightly kind of all over the place except for his steam tank which misfired so that's always a nice way to start for, for me anyway. Uh, he moves up his pistolers to shoot up my one Chaka, kills one guy there, otherwise he's able to destroy one of my rock lavas with the uh, one of his cannons there. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Now the big thing that he's doing to me with his magic is he has both Dwellers and Pit of Shades. And so he's going to be rocking that. He, he, he's a player after my own heart. Where it's like, alright, magic phase time. Boom, six dice. And uh, yeah, that of course is going to be scaring the bejesus out of me. My turn one. Don't care so much about the right side because basically my chariot just charges the Pistoliers and then it's done. Uh, but anyway, I'm kind of moving up, and I love to just kind of like throw myself into his face, but the big thing here is that even though I'm, I'm kind of fine taking a charge from anything, is that I just, I, I don't feel like I'm completely happy just taking a charge from his great swords and then him having the ability to, to buff them, because of course if, if he blows through my savages, then he's also going to be able to then overrun into my bunker, and I'm just going to be screwed. So I have to be very careful there, uh, and so to kind of mitigate that then, what I'm doing on either side is I'm hoping that those ones will break through first. You know, I mean at this point too, I'm also hoping that my shooting is going to be able to kind of beat him and all this stuff, but so far, you know, my foot of Gork is either being failed to cast or, you know, it's going to be dispelled. It's just, yeah, foot of Gork has been doing not so well for me so far the last three games, and then my War Machines do all of nothing as well, so hooray! His turn, too, he's actually moving backwards, and this is where I realized, damn, this isn't going to work nice, because what's happening here is that in his magic phase, this is one where between all the stuff he gets, he gets 12 dice, so it's boom, 6 dice dwellers, boom, 6 dice, the uh, 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 pit of shades. Now, the pit of shades, I went and I scrolled, I just had to eat a dwellers, and so you saw what happened to my black orcs over there, so they're starting to, to suffer. His shooting is taking out another couple of my war machines, and so yeah, this is just not going very well overall here. My turn too here. I'm just kind of really trying to close the gap here. Still, like I said, trying to respect those great swords and the power that they'll have. And uh, again, my magic's doing nothing. Hopefully I'm going to be putting on some pressure with him because I have uh, my wolf riders you see there threatening the cannon. But as you can see on the right side, now I'm going and just you know, smashing, in uh, air quotes, into his Mornfang with my Chukkas. But even when I hit, I'm just doing one wound. So it's just like, oh, come on, something start paying off for me. 
His turn three, he's over here and able to shoot at my chariot, and luckily only does two wounds to me with a cannon, so hooray, hopefully my, my chariot can go take out his cannon here. But overall, he moves back again. I, I couldn't believe it. It's just I can't get this guy to engage me. So he backs up again. Uh, his Mornfanger now blocking me from charging the cannon. Uh, he has a little detachment that just runs up in my face to slow me down. And on the left side, this time again, a double, uh, you know, 12 power dice. So I'm eating pit and dwellers. This time I decide to eat the pit because, hey, it scatters, right? So maybe I'll be saved by that. No, it just cranks into my trolls. And as you can see, I lose, like, almost half of them. So I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much how this is going so far. So on my turn three, I'm forced trying to fight the detachment, and uh, it all goes well. And of course, my black orcs just reform. On the left side, I charge the Mornfang and fail. Uh, so what I do then is I'm just moving up my night goblins to kind of trap the great sword, so that now I can deal with the other things. Uh, in the magic phase, I'm able to go and give rerolls to the savages, but that's pretty much it for my turn. I mean, as, as usual, as you'd expect, my shooting what I have left with the few checks I have at this point, they do nothing. His turn four, and he now finally charges into my black orcs. And it's like, oh, finally I get to kill something. Of course, I mean, that's going to be hard because he has flushed the stone on them. But even then, uh, with my strength seven, I should be able to take care of these guys. So also, just to kind of explain what happened, on the right side, my chariot failed to charge on his cannon. So this turn, he finishes off that chariot. So there you go. And again... <laughs> he's just backing up. It's just, oh. So he now has his Pegasus now in the way of my trolls, which is going to be annoying. And, uh, yeah, as you can see in the combat on the right, I, I beat up the Mornfang and all that fun stuff, but they're still there. I was really hoping that they'd be able to break so I could then charge in and kill something else, but uh, they're still holding me up. So I at least am able to reform for ranks. My turn four, I charge into the Pegasus. My trolls have no trouble there puking on it and taking it off. I charge, well, okay, let's deal with this other thing first, which is, you know, less minor. I keep on fighting with my black orcs into the one Warrenfang there. I just can't land a wound. He actually wins combat because of banner, and uh, I hold with steadfast. Now, here's the big thing. I charge my night goblins into his great swords, you know, these old models with the big two-handed weapons with the big hammer and stuff. They're halberdiers! I can't believe... Oh, if I knew they were halberdiers, I could have been their face freaking first turn. Just getting up there, getting there. Oh, I, I couldn't believe it. I felt so stupid. And one of the things is that, I mean, because you're like, oh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's not using the right model. Which is kind of the... the I mean, these guys are not halberdiers. But the thing is that he told me in the beginning of the game that they're halberdiers. Like, what he told me now that, like, I told you at the start of the game, I remembered it. And second of all, remember, this is an open list. So, I mean, I'm looking at the list. It's saying halberdiers, but I just look at the models and I was thinking, you know, great sword. So I couldn't believe that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm just now kicking myself for being so dumb and how this should be going so much better. His turn five, he charges in his knights into the savages. I think this was kind of a mistake, uh, but he was probably doing more of a delay factor, because if I got these now into what I knew were halberdiers and swordsmen, I would just destroy them. But uh, either way, yeah, looking again forward to finally get to kill something with my orcs. So otherwise, in his turn, you can see his swordsmen are over there to try and block my black orcs if I got through. But hey, look, I didn't get any wounds again, and he's still there. So uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, my night goblins are still being whittled through. You can see that my savages went and, uh, you know, killed everything except for the, the priest who passed his break test. So he's holding me up. Uh, another pit of shades I had to eat and it didn't scatter. So it killed even more of my trolls. And so now three, uh, four trolls have to fight two Mornfang. Don't really know how that's going to work out. But, uh, yeah, it's just... <sighs> My turn five, some good and some bad. I finish off the priest, I finish off the last Mornfang, the troll go into the other Mornfang, and I completely whip. I, I do nothing, I then break, and he runs me down. So there's a whole bunch of points gone. Uh, remember that in a game like this, though, I don't totally care about it because it's all about the points you get, not the points you give up. But still, I mean, those trolls should have done so much better than this. This is the fact that they had to eat two Pit of Shades, and yeah, yeah, jeez. But either way, in the combat, I'm still steadfast with my night goblins, and uh, yeah, just one more turn. His turn six, he sends a steam tank into my savages. It's not that, I mean, he's not going to break me, I'm going to be steadfast, blah, blah, but the main thing is like, well, now my savages, my savages also did nothing for me this game, and so that's just sad overall. So at the end of it, he goes and, uh, you know, 
pretty much just backs up with anything that's not important. My night goblins break. I can't remember why, but my bunker... Oh, yeah, his Morn, two main Mornfang charged my bunker, and I fled and got away. But, uh, yeah, stuff is just kind of, like, dying all over the place. And so on my turn six, there's nothing for me to do except for, well, you know, not rally. Look at this. My night goblins on a leadership five were able to rally, but my other guys here, you know, on leadership eight were not. Uh, the only thing that was good news at the end of this is that this is actually the game where you're trying to keep your three cheapest units alive and, you know, kill the ones from the other side, so big points there. So, as you can see in this unit, I have the three Night Goblin big bosses. They're the three I was trying to keep alive, which obviously they're here. His were the two cannons in the detachment, and, I mean, one of the cannons was destroyed, the detachment was destroyed. So, overall, the scenario gave me a whole bunch of, of victory points. So at the end of the day, if you looked, if it was a regular game, he would have won the game. But because of scenario, I pulled ahead. And, hey, he's a baby. And I got the win. But uh, the big thing here is that going into this game, you know, he told me that, oh, yeah, you know, he's a friend of one. Spitting all this stuff. I thought it was going to be a really great game. But even though it was like a good tactical game, uh, it was just really frustrating because the way that this tournament works is that you need victory points to win, right? And whenever you play against somebody that just backs up and plays defensive, well, it's bad for them. And you're like, well, okay, you're not going to get a lot of points. But it's also bad for the other person. You know, so both of us are going to be getting low scores. And this is something he said that he was finding with his first two games too. It was like, oh yeah, he's winning his games, but he's not getting a lot of victory points. And this is why it's going to happen. Uh, so that was kind of, you know, frustrating to try and play a game like that in a one where you need to be crushing stuff but at the same time I also have to kind of be really frustrated with myself just for you know failing at reading comprehension because again I mean I could blame him for not having the right models and using models that people usually use as proxies as uh, great swords but the fact that he told me and it was an open list I really can only blame myself and of course I mean looking back on this report and you know knowing that they're just halberdiers, I would have played so differently and just being right in his face because, yeah, you know, great swords that are hitting on uh, a 3 plus and wounding on a 2 plus are so much different than just, you know, little halberdiers where I can also kill them because they have pretty much no armor and, oh, frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. So overall, I got about 3,000 points in this game, got another win, but, uh, yeah, wish it could have been a lot more. Thanks for watching. Bye.